I don't believe that the Kremlin actually wants to invade all the way across Ukraine. Uh, I don't see a big red arrow that goes across Ukraine. Um, I don't think that Russian Federation forces actually could do that, not against modern day Ukrainian forces and uh, a very resistant population. But I do think that they uh, intend to uh, isolate Ukraine from the Black Sea and Sea of Azov. The operational objectives would be to take those coastlines and really, uh, I mean, that would wreck the uh, Ukrainian uh, economy as well as probably lead to the fall of the Zelensky government. Oh. All the pieces are in place and it could uh, move forward on, on pretty short notice, I think. Uh, the reason for this, of course, is uh, the Kremlin um, has decided to put pressure on the West. And, and I think to present Ukraine as a, as a failed state to prevent Ukraine from ever being really able to integrate into the West, into EU or NATO. I think the main goal of the Kremlin is to uh, reestablish this sort of sphere that people would have recognized from the 18th and 19th century, where Russia gets to dictate the foreign policy and, and what goes on inside nations on its periphery, uh, no matter what those nations want to do. The Kremlin has deployed at least thousands of soldiers and all of this equipment around the Ukraine in order to put pressure on the Zelensky government and, and hope to provoke them into doing something or to ratchet up concern inside Europe in order to gain uh, concessions, to, to push back gains by former Soviet republics and former Warsaw Pact countries, to push that back. Uh, the best way to prevent this is for the West not just the United States, but the West with the European Union and, and NATO allies um, to stick together and, and to be clear to the Kremlin that uh, use of force to continue changing uh, internationally recognized sovereign borders is not acceptable. Now, diplomacy that results in any of Russia's, uh, what I think are totally unrealistic demands being met I think that's that's not diplomacy. That would be appeasement. And I also uh, don't think this should be happening over the heads of Ukraine or Poland or other countries. I mean, this is not the 18th century where two big powers make decisions about how to divide up territory. I, I think in the 21st century, uh, nations ought to be able to choose their own uh, foreign policy and make their own decisions. <laughs>